Hello everyone. So in week six, we designed empty fire circuits. So in that web pro lab procedure, we had two exercises. The first one was building the following circuit, right? And the detail is given that all the resistors should be selected as one kilowatt. So what I'm going to do is uh, I will develop this circuit on multi-simp and let's see what is the possible response of this circuit. So this is the operational amplifier that we will be using. So yeah, we can select this one, for example, yeah, this one is okay. If we can select and we need, uh, we will be needing the resistors. Okay, so we need three resistor. So I'm going to press three resistor. And of course we need power, uh, DC power. Mm. So <clears throat> we can go to sources and then maybe power sources. So this is like DC source. So we need two for that. And we also need power supply for this IC. So this is a dual power supply IC. So we will be using two ICs. One is uh, two supplies. One is VCC, which is like positive, and another one is VDD. We will keep it negative, and we also need a ground. So I think that's it. So let's uh, develop this circuit. So one should be over here. So one resistor would be connected. Let's have a look on that. Yeah. So one resistor is connected with the inverting like negative terminal and there there is another resistor which is connected through output. So I will first connect these resistors and this power supply I can connect over here and this is like another power supply. So I will make it like uh, 15 volts to the positive one and minus 15 to negative okay and then there should be a resistor which would be connected with positive and to not positive right and positive terminal the negative terminal you can see this resistor is connected with the negative one so now these both resistors would be connected to different battery sources so let me connect first with this one and second with the second register and we also need a ground so we can connect this ground and we can also add the ground to that so let's like make it 10 volts and this one is 4 volts and how we need to check how this whether this circuit is working or not so I will just bring a multimeter over here and connect positive with this one and negative with the ground okay so we will be needing uh, DC voltage because you can see in this whole circuit there is not a single source like AC. Everything is DC. If I talk about VCC, VGDC, these are, these are just the constant values and these are also batteries. And even in this circuit if you can see this is just plus and minus and there is no sine wave like sinusoidal which, which can give you a kind of indication that this is alternating source but this is simple battery. Okay, so let's run it. So yeah, it's 16 volts, right? So I think it should have given me the six volt because 10 minus four should be uh, six volts. So let's see what's, what's the problem. This is like four volt and 10 volts. Let's make it like five volt and see what is the response of this circuit so right now it is five and six and it's it's giving me i negative to let's look at the circuit yeah so i haven't connected this resistor which is like the fourth resistor which is connected with the ground so let's connect another resistor so i i missed this resistor so that should be connected with the positive one right and also a ground so remember one thing that 
this circuit is uh, on the top it's plus and minus but in this circuit it's like minus and plus so either i could have just flipped it and this circuit would have exactly looked like this but uh, i think we should just go with the conceptual study which is uh, we need to see that okay minus has got the feedback resistor and this resistor which is like extra resistor which is connected with ground that's connected with positive and that's why i connected with positive and let's see if it works yeah now it works see 5 minus 4 it gives you 1 volt so for example here we have got uh, 10 volts and 4 volts let's do that 10 and 4 volt yeah so let's see it should give us 6 volts so that's working so that's exercise number one